the first time you start up live code you need to agree on the license and the terms and conditions and so on and so forth so uh, take your time and read through this uh, i've done this before so then when you're done you can click i accept the terms of the license agreement and then i can hit continue uh, in the next screen you need to enter your uh, email address and your password and it should be the same as the one you used when you registered for live code so after that you can hit the activate button and then it will talk to the live code server and then it will find one or more licenses that you have and if you have more than one well then you can select among them uh, if you only have one well then it will use that one and then you can use the license and then it will start up live code when live code has started it looks something like this you have a start center a window called start center and you have a palette here that is called the tools palette and then you have a menu under the menu uh, with some buttons and i will um, cover some of them uh, today in this video uh, the start center, you have a big blue button that says start interactive welcome. And if you are new to live code, well, then I strongly suggest you to actually click on that one because that will go through how to work with live code within live code. And it is really, it is actually pretty slick because it starts like this and then you blah, blah, blah. It says, okay, welcome. And then you can see, okay, and you got it. And then it starts, uh, okay, you need to create a new stack and uh, default size and then it continues in that way so it's really really good uh, to work with if you haven't done that before <clears throat> the next time uh, you start the start center will look like this instead and here you can still go to the interactive welcome and you can have a couple of uh, interactives here um, you can also create a new stack uh, or you can look at some sample projects uh, on lessons and so on and so forth. But now I will actually close the start center and I would like to focus a little bit on the help menu because there is a lot of good stuff in the help menu that I think you should know. There is a use guide that is a PDF that kind of goes through from the beginning how to work and use live code. There is a dictionary uh, that I would like to show you because in the dictionary you have every command, every function, and every everything that is available in live code. So if you think that you were supposed to do something that has uh, to do with the mouse, well, then you can start uh, write mouse in this one, and then you will see everything, every command and everything you can do that has something to do with mouse. Uh, so the dictionary is really, really good. In this dictionary, there is also a guide that is a little bit more thematic on how to work with live code. Uh, there are also sample stacks and sample scripts that you can take a peek at that are dependent on what you would like to do. You can probably find something here. Uh, there is also a beginner's guide and there are other guides and lessons and forums and so on and so forth. So the help menu is really a help menu. So don't forget that one. If you get stuck, well, help is your best friend. Um, below the main menu that you have on top here, you have a couple of buttons. These you can select in the view menu if you like to have the toolbar text or the toolbar icons or none of them. Um, so let's bring them all back like that. You use at least the first six here a lot um, when you are working with iCode or maybe the next two also. The sample stacks, lessons, resources, and dictionary, well, they are also available in the help menu. So um, it's kind of the same with that one. Um, so now we know a little bit about how uh, to move around in LiveCode and let's start working with LiveCode. 